So what uh, we are going to do is uh, to rename a computer inside a domain. In my implementation, uh, the domain controller is a Samba. So let's see what we want to do. So basically you see a few computers in my Windows network <coughs> here. And um, you see here this computer is uh, user is uh, Federico, but it has this ugly name, which we want to change to fit all the, uh, the other usernames here. So another little introductory thing. Let's see. I'm running uh, Linux here and you what you can see in this screen now uh, screen 6 is a VNC viewer for a remote computer called Domus which runs Windows and permit us to use all the Windows tool to do the configuration which is the custom thing to the normal thing to do let's say then we have another computer uh, where we are connected and it is uh, Federico computer and this is the computer that uh, we want to rename to rename um, so the the only way I found to, to, to change the computer name is a bit involved and uh, it requires us to uh, remove the computer from the domain delete the computer from the domain from active directory and then uh, rename the computer and uh, check it logs into the domain correctly. Okay, so let's proceed. So I'm in Federico computer now, you see here. And the first thing to do is to remove it from the domain. So control panel. System and security, system, advanced here, advanced setting. The computer now is into the domain, so you must uh, insert the password for a domain administrator. Good, now we go computer name here change you see it's already called PC Federico PC Federico let's say but if you see into the domain controller it recorded this strange name oh, strange name this default name which uh, Windows set automatically this is because I tried to change the name after I put the computer into the domain and this doesn't work at all, at least in Samba implementation of Active Directory. I don't know in the Windows implementation, Windows Server implementation. So let's remove it from the domain and go into a default work group that is work group. Once you do that, uh, you must be sure you know um, one of the user um, password, administrator user password. Um, when you are outside outside of the domain, so let's go on. I know the password. It takes a while. Okay. It was me to restart the computer. So restart the computer. Now I go to check when the computer turns on. Let's wait. Once the computer answer to the ping, then we are ready to log in again with uh, WNC. And so that's it. We are ready, new connection, Federico. Okay. 
these are the user outside of the domain before the computer was into the domain there were these two users they are both administrator i know the password for this one okay we logged into the computer outside of the domain now we go to active directory we noted here that this is federico computer right click delete are you sure you want to delete yes good now let's go back to federico computer and let's enter again into the domain no let's go to control panel there's a lot of unwanted stuff that we don't care uh, icon category system and security system advanced setting again computer name change so let's go back into the domain window of course this is the name of your windows domain this is ours at bogey group okay um now you must write here the um, credential of administrators of your window domain in which you are going to enter right now okay it tells us to restart the computer so we are going to do it and start the computer we need to wait a while we will lose the Gwensi connection now so we are going to go to another desktop and ping Federico computer again uh, and wait until she turn on That's it, we have co co Federico computer back, so we are ready to review and see to it. New connection, Federico. Bam. Good, now other user, Windom. okay so we log back into federico account inside the window domain and what we need to check now is to see if active directory is updated so um click somewhere else click again into computers and then click this refresh stuff and i we are done you see pc federico is here so let's add some comment a trigger comment and that's it the problem solved